Hello Cancer, welcome to Truth Will Told Tarot. This is your weekly reading for week commencing 12th of November 2018 for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon and Rising Sign. I hope you are Cancer. Here are the cards. We have the Devil, we have the Tower, we have the Six of Wands, we have the Two of Cups, we have the Two of Pentacles and the King of Wands. And I've also pulled um, two Archangel Oracle cards for further clarification. So I'm going to start with the Devil energy. I'm actually going to take it with the Two of Cups as well, um, because this is about um, being controlled, manipulated, um, feeling your life is out of control. It could be part of your life or all of your life. Um, it could feel that something is dominating you negatively, uh, being in a negative state of mind. It could be about materialism, being too materially um, obsessed to the point where you're blinkered to the bigger picture, wider values, and it's put you in a negative state of mind. Now, um, this can also talk about self-sabotage, um, self-enslavement, um, it can talk about addiction. Uh, so, as I say, I mean, this can talk about a lot of negative things, but you're you see how this man, this this devil is blind. It talks about the fact that the devil is an illusion, the fact that you can see your path clearly, you can see your way out of the situation. But when you're in the grips of the devil, there's kind of like a blind realisation, um, a blind um, not being able to see your way clear of, of the devil energy once you're caught in, um, certainly in heightened emotions, um, it might be to do with other people. Um, this can certainly um, yeah, keep hold of you. And the longer that you allow the devil energy to grab hold of you, um, the worse it gets. The more negative you get, the more enslaved you get. Um, so don't be a slave to negativity. Don't be a slave to other people's will over your will. Don't give your power away. That's the that's really the message with the devil, Cancer. Um, it can be just an illusion. It can just be an illusion. And if you take this helmet off, you'll see your path clearly. Um, it is just about um, seeing the bigger picture, opening your mind up to the yeah what is possible for you in your life, and and taking that forward. <clears throat> now. The devil energy is quite a passionate energy and that's why I'm drawn to the two of cups because this can be a, a, a relationship, <clears throat> it can be um, you know, a marriage, a um, partnership, um, whatever this is, but it can for some of you be an unhealthy one and it's an addictive partnership, it's a passionate par partnership, but it's a partnership that's not equal for some of you. Um, there's somebody who dominates and somebody who feels less than. So that can certainly be the case for some of you. Um, but yeah, this is also about um, turning on his head. This can be about um, bringing yourself, finding yourself again. Um, you see how you go, it's almost like from A to B, um, finding yourself again, going on this path of, of um, yeah, this journey of enlightenment to find yourself again, maybe after a period of being controlled and manipulated, you're walking away and coming back to you again. So yeah, it can work both ways, but as I say, it will mean something for some of you. Now the tower energy, it's an interesting one next to the devil, um, because the tower energy says that something has to change. And maybe it is to do with, it can be to do with love in this relationship. As I said, I mentioned un an unhealthy love. Um, however painful this energy is, something does have to change. You do have to release yourself from this negative situation of the devil energy. Um, and this, uh, bear in mind, I mean, controlling manipulation, it can happen in the workplace as well. Um, but what this is saying is, however you've built your tower, whatever trust you've put in people, whatever foundation you thought they provided for you, um, it was false, or it doesn't serve you anymore. And the universe is very much telling you now that it needs to come down. This belief system needs to come down for you to move on and move past this situation. And with the tower energy, it won't be an easy decision. It won't be an easy choice. And I'm, 
you know, it's funny how these cards are laid out. It's absolutely perfectly telling the story. Um, so it won't be an easy decision. This card, this Two of Pentacles, can be about the need to make a decision. You have two choices. And, yeah, this is saying that it might not be an easy decision, but you need to make it. You need to deal with this this negative energy to pull yourself out of this situation and though it will be a massive, massive upheaval, it might be a massive change for some of you, it needs to happen. This is universally guided. You see the lightning coming to the tower. It's saying that this tower structure needs to come down because it's not serving you anymore. It's actually keeping you held back from your, from your vision, from your promise, from your goals. And once you do that, this is a sign of hard-earned victory. You see, this man, he's recognised by other people and maybe other people are saying that you need to deal with the situation, a change needs to happen. However difficult that change might be, it needs to happen in this situation to move on. And once you do that, once you push past that pain, that hurt, that negativity, um, you achieve positive um, you know, recognition from other people, but also from yourself. And the horse in this picture represents strength, it represents courage. And it represents moving forward after a period of difficulty. This man holds um, up a victory flag or wreath in some in some cards, um, basically saying that you know this is a hard-earned victory. This is overcoming obstacles. This is overcoming negative situations. This is pushing past negative people. This is pushing past controlling situations to move forward in your life and take your control back. And I'm saying take your control back because you've got the King of Wands underneath. As I say, these cards are really, they just work so perfectly together. So yeah, you've got the King of Wands who is about success, he's about achievement, he's about taking control of his life, taking action. The Wands energy is about taking action, about opportunities being around you. There's opportunity to move past this situation this week and start making plans to move on. Um, and when you do... As I say, there may well be, um, you know, a renewal of love on your love in your life. Um, this can talk about a new, um, you know, a soulmate partnership after a period of negativity. Um, this can talk about finding you again. You've got two twos in this situation and it can talk about choices. Two twos can talk about choices, about finding balance in your life again after a period of imbalance. Certainly with the tower, it won't be easy. Um, but yeah, I mean, you have the courage to push past this. And with two twos, I, I just think that there's... Um, yeah, stop. I would say stop putting on this. I just feel that there's a duality here as well. And I think it's a duality within you. I think you're torn in this situation. I think part of you wants to deal with this situation. Part of you wants to hang on to this situation. It is that kind of addiction. Um but also I think this is about the brave face that you put onto other people and the knowing that you have within yourself. Um, the knowing of this situation is happening that you have within yourself and the fact that you're feeling less and less worthy of, of taking control of your own life and that's just not positive um, cancer. So you need to deal with this situation, you need to deal with the negativity of this situation and move forward and, and take control back, make the decision, make choices, um, because there are small successes. I mean, the Two of Pentacles talks about small successes now. Um, and yeah, I mean, this King of Wands, it could be somebody helping you. There could be an energy, and there could be somebody in your life that's helping you push past a situation to success. Um, so yeah, as I say, I mean, I think this is really... Um, this is a positive steps of, of taking control back in your life and finding yourself again. This is finding you, finding your courage, um, finding your positivity, finding love in your life again, um, and making the right decisions to push past and take control of your life, start achieving. And this is a card of real success. It says whatever you decide to do this week, it can lead to real success and achievement um, and finding yourself again. This is about... Um, somebody who is confident, uh, somebody self-assured, um, very, very um, positive, um, very uh, keen to take action, move forward, 
keep pushing forward, keep trying to achieve more goals. Achieve, you know, every time he achieves a goal, he goes on to achieve another goal. This is about taking real action um, this week to achieve success. And when you do, you just release from this situation. And the universe is saying that this needs to happen now. It won't be easy, but it needs to happen. And as I say, this can be in job, it can be in your love life, it can be in general friendships, relationships, wider acquaintances, people at work, so on and so forth. Whatever this is, release, move on to achieve victory. And the first Archangel card is Life Review. And that's perfect for this. Um, Archangel Jeremiah, take inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced. So, life review, Archangel Jeremiah, take inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced. And that's perfect. That's exactly what these cards are asking you to do this week. And this is Courage, Archangel Ariel. Be courageous and stand up for your beliefs. Courage, Archangel Ariel. Be courageous and stand up for your beliefs. And I said in this card, it's being courageous. This is being courageous. You know, and really coming back to yourself, finding yourself again and taking on the courage to move out of these situations. And you'll be happy for it. You'll be happy for it, Cancer. This situation can't go on. That's exactly what it's saying. It just can't go on. So I hope some of you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. Uh, the monthly readings are out now, so if you haven't checked those out, do check them out. And I will see you next time. Thank you.